Peace, everybody. Thomas Amal coming at you with another edition of Conversation Corner. Uh, today, I wanted to just talk about really briefly um, on the signs, on the signs that we see um, that are around us that are uh, attempting to tell us something. And I came to this conclusion or this thought came up as I was driving down the street and my son was in the car with me and he recognized the sign that had two people walking and it had the uh, picture of lines in the street. And he's like, why is it saying that? So we started to discuss the signs of how there's so many forms of communication that are amongst us that most of us don't really even pay attention to. It becomes second nature. Um, you just see it and just continue on. But these signs, be it warning signs or just a sign of promoting something or advertising something or just uh, throwing something out there to make you think, these signs are everywhere. They are absolutely everywhere. Um, I've always been told or I heard a long, long time ago that one of the largest forms of communication is when you're driving. And the, the signal, you talk to more people in a drive for five miles than you could talk to somebody, probably number, that same number of people, in a month or two. Because that one minute, a uh, few minutes that you're driving, your signals, you have the regular gestures, um, uh, the, the lights, you have the stops and things like that. And in the meantime, there are numerous physical signs out there. I say all of that to say is, right now is the time where we really need to wake up and recognize the sign of the times we're talking about economic hardships everywhere we're talking about employment opportunities going less and less or getting smaller and smaller um, we're talking about health issues on the rise we're talking about medical expenses or other kinds of expenses on the rise um, right now it's very hard to have pleasurable moments for those of us that are in the working world and um, we are at the beck and call of someone else so it's almost like a modern day slavery which it is is because you um, have to work numerous hours and trust me I know um, be it friends family relatives uh, people work an extraordinary amount of hours and uh, they don't see it in return. The reci reciprocity as far as their income is not the same or equivalent to the amount of work that they do. Um, but the company is benefiting from it. But if you take it to the other side, some companies or many companies have had to go out of business uh, for it could be bad business practices or a lack of a business structure or it, that that uh, particular company is not providing a service that is in the want right now um, so you find yourself working even more hard to keep the business afloat and it's still not working so it in this day and time all of the mental instabilities and things like that and the people are so fragile that's why I'm saying that we really need to pay attention to the times because this has been coming up for a while now. Gas prices are just absolutely ridiculous. You know, um, prices of milk and all different kind of things that you would purchase. You know, the chicken, the poultry, anything that you eat, everything, prices have gone up. Um, they're even having wanting to argue about raising the price of a stamp, you know, just to mail a letter. You know, just so many little things that the prices have gone up. But our work, in the sense of us working on ourselves as individuals, has that gone up? Have we put more pride, more love, more want into our developing ourselves in comparison to trying to keep other people afloat? I know people who work hours on end, and they get very little out of it, but a headache. The, uh, on Sundays around 5, 6 o'clock when 60 Minutes comes on, they start their whole mentality starts to change because they know that they have to get up and go to work Monday morning for somebody else and it might be something that they really don't want to do so right now being that I'm with a company and have had opportunities to do things on my own stress level is going down the chance of bringing in a, a similar with or if not more a lot more of an income and I get to go to work in my sweats. I get to go to work anytime I want to. I get to meet as many people from around the world as often as I want to. 
um, it's just one of those things where it's just a, a perfect mix, but you have to have that mentality and that will and that drive to want to be successful and want to move on. With that being said, I ask that you really sit back and really look at the signs. Look at the signs of the times. Recognize that there are opportunities out there. I ask that you be smart then think first and click the link below because that link below will lead you to something that will help that will be very helpful for you in your life and if you want to have the same opportunities or more opportunities that I have um, to be more successful to go on trips to bring in a huge income um, to live a peaceful life and get closer and closer to what that freedom is uh, and having peace of mind click the link below take a peek at what we have to offer uh, I'm sure you'll enjoy it but work has to be done it's not a fairy tale you have to put work in it you have to have love for yourself and do what's best for you that's another rendition or edition of uh, conversation corner hope to hear from you soon keep coming with the comments uh, I'm hearing a lot of positive stuff so I'm glad to hear that people are paying attention and they're being able to use this be it motivational for you or myself be it educational for you or myself I still love doing it. I like talking to people. So let's keep it going. Talk to you soon. It actually works.biz, Thomasamall.com. Talk to you. Peace.